हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी टेक ऑफ मॉड्यूल 17 ऑफ द पेपर सेकंड टुडे वी विल फोकस आवर अटेंशन ऑन इटालियन एंड स्पेनिश पेंटर्स ऑफ द बरोक पीरियड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी एम टू लर्न अबाउट पेंटर्स ऑफ द बरोक पीरियड understand the meaning of their works and their impact on later works in this module we shall study the following artist karachi michelangelo merisi caravaggio artemisia gentilesa giudorani dominicimo guercino Pietro da Cortona Giovanni Lanfranco Francesco da Juberan Juan Sanchez Cotton Diego Velasquez Painting in the 17th century Italy followed one of the two principal paths ordered classicism of the Karachi or dramatic naturalism of caravaggio although the leading exponents of these paths were northern italians and the caracci family was from bologna and caravaggio was born in or near milan they were all eventually drawn to rome the center of power and patronage Karachi the brothers Agostino 1557 to 1602 and Annabel Karachi 1560 to 1609 and their cousin Ludovico 1555 and 1619 from Bologna founded an art academy in 1582 to study and teach art theory renaissance painting and antique classical sculpture they placed a high value on accurate drawing complex figure compositions complicated narratives and technical expertise in both oil and fresco painting during in short time the academy had a lasting impact on art education in 1595 cardinal odonaldo farnese hired anibel to decorate the principal rooms of his family palace look at the painting in the long galleria about love take from over the metamorphosis to celebrate the wedding of duke renuncio of parma to the niece of the pope look at the vault which is designed to show as if easel paintings were mounted on it 11 framed paintings adorn the vault along with frames the corners show a combination of flesh male nudes marble bronze and the sky the poses of karachi figures are very natural and relaxed and also comfortable as they assume the poses of michelangelo's figures and glow with a warm light the primary image set in the center of the vault is triumph of bacchus ariadne a joyous procession celebrating the wine god bacchus love for ariadne whom he rescued after her lover the ceiling was highly admired famous from the moment it was finished the proud farnese family generously allowed young artists to sketch the figures there 
so that Karachi's masterpiece influenced Italian art well into the following century. Michelangelo Marisi Caravaggio, 1571 to 1610. The leading Italian painter of the 17th century, Caravaggio flouted Renaissance artistic conventions very well. As much as challenged the law, he threw a plate of artichokes in the face of a tavern keeper and was also charged for armed assault and murder. His paintings are a realistic observation of the human state both physical and emotional, and with dramatic use of lighting. In other words, his style combined powerful frank realism and dramatic theoretical lighting and gesture. This was one of the formative influences on Baroque painting. In his painting, Caravaggio renounced the grand style of the High Renaissance. He drew Christian stories in local setting of Italy. The street or the tavern, but the difference was in the use of strong contrast of light and dark that give his figures a sculptural presence. Caravaggio's innovation was a radial naturalism that combined close physical observation with a dramatic, even theatrical use of chiaroscuro, which came to be known as tenebrism, the shift from light to dark with little intermediate value. He made no preliminary drawings and painted directly on, on the canvas. His audience was the ordinary observer, was not the social or cultural elite. His early paintings are only about still life and portraits, primarily for his patron, Cardinal Francisco del Monte. In painting below, a superb still life, look at the fruits and leaves with veins, rendered in a very natural way. The use of lighting just makes the picture more lively. The background is divided by the typical Baroque read regular illumination. The diagonals of the boy's right arm and the tilt of his head extend an invitation to the observer. The light also ensures his look of seduction. This is reinforced by the bright red and yellow peach at the front of the basket together with the yellow piece of fruit turning brown in the center of the basket ask the viewer to enjoy life's pleasures before time escapes. Most of the Caravaggio's commissions after 1600 were religious and reactions to them were mixed. On occasion, patrons rejected his powerful, sometimes brutal naturalism as unsuitable to the subject of dignity. In 1599, Caravaggio was contracted to decorate the Contarelli Chapel in the church of Saint Suiki Ikai Francesi. The first version of altar painting, Saint Matthew and the Angel, destroyed in Bellini in 1945, was thought too realistic, insufficiently reverent, and was therefore refused. The second was conceived in a more classical way. It is particularly striking for the solidity of the draperies that enfold the angel, as if so holed up in his flight. Caravaggio was wholly incapable of making an angel fly, as well as for its colors, with their restrained and rather meager range, which seemed to be break up 
at the violent shock of the light against sombre background of canvas his other works the martyrdom of saint matthew and calling of saint matthew were a huge hit caravaggio's tiny breeze a heightened chiaroscuro brought high drama to his subjects while his accurately observed realism brought a new level of emotional intensity here Matthew the tax collector is called upon by Jesus and Saint Peter the light from the unseen window just above Jesus is very symbolic Jesus hand reminds us of God's hands and Michelangelo's painting creation of Adam in the crucifixion of Saint Peter he arranged the figures in a tense of centered pinwheel which catches that catches the eccentricity of st peter's torment he was crucified upside down the emphasis here is the figures pushing the cross upwards and pulling the cross from beneath they are given no personalities they are machines the saint's powerful physique is belled the saint's powerful physique is belied by expression of vulnerability on his aging face by placing the vigorously modeled figures close to the viewer caravaggio reduces the psychological distance between viewer and subject by illuminating them against the darkened background he stages the action so that it seems to take place within the viewer's space a space whose cruel light reveals such banal details as the executioner dirty feet due to the ideals of catholic reformation caravaggio painting appealed to the senses rather than to the intellect the painting below was taken by napoleon to the loft from the vatican also called the deposition the torso and the arm of christ remind us of the pieta by michelangelo also look at the female saints mourning the loss of christ madonna in blue as a firm face her arms spread wide across the painting and symbolically over Christ as if blessing her this movement comes through the use of light one of the greatest illusion of painting in in the human history is the stone that Christ touches the original chapel the altarpiece begins just above the altar so that the stone is just above the altar artemisia gentilesa Artemisia's Judith staying hollow furnace exhibits the baroque taste for violence illustrates an event from the book of Judith in the Old Testament Apocrypha look at the violence of scene enhanced by dramatic caravaggesque shifts of light and dark and by the energetic draperies Interestingly Artemisia learned painting from the father Oregio in 1611 Oregio hired Agostino Tassi to teach her drawing and perspective Tassi raped Artemisia and then refused to marry her when Oregio shot Tassi Artemisia was tortured with thumb screws to test her veracity before tasi was convicted undoubtedly affected by the experience artemisia 
is known for her pictures of heroic women and violent scenes. Guido Rani, 1575-1642 First apprentice to the Flemish painter Dennis Kelwyert at the age of 10. Rennie was later influenced by novel nationalism of the Karachi. Also, the frescoes of Raphael and ancient Greek sculptures were the main inspiration for Rennie's art. He stole towards a classical harmony in which reality is presented in idealized proportions. The mood of his painting is calm and serene as are the studied softness of color and form. His religious compositions made him one of the most famous painters of his day in Europe and the model for other Italian Baroque artists. In the painting below, you will see the contrast of light and dark, highlighting the body as influenced by Caravaggio and combined it with Karachi style of putting nobility to the figures. You can see that the cross divides the frame. Also to at the each people in handling St. Peter's in comparison with Caraggio. In this painting, look at all women saving their children, depicting their emotional state of mind as the men try to kill them creating a perfect balance between the two elements. This is an extraordinary compositional arrangement. Of course, the children will become angels as we see the characters at the top waiting for them. Domenicino, 1581 to 1641. He worked with Karachi and in 6, 1602 was in Rome, where he joined the Bolognese artist at work under the direction of Annibale Karachi in the decoration of the Furnace Palace. Dominicino is known for his natural landscape work which is marked by lucid and balanced compositions, even and serene lighting and subdued colors. And the sober expressions and restrained gestures of its figures. Dominicino occupies an important place in the history of landscape painting because his work had a profound influence on the classical landscapist Nicolas Poussin and Claude Lorrain. In this painting, look at the beauty and sweep of the landscape is controlled by the trees framing it and the diffused light. Coercino 1591 to 1666, Giovanni Francisca Barberi was nicknamed Guercino because he was Giorcio or cross-eyed. His frescoes freshly exploited the illusionistic ceiling, making a profound impact on 17th century Baroque decoration. In 1621, Guercio Guercino went to Rome, where he played an important role in the evolution of Roman high Baroque art. When he played an important role in the evolution of Roman high Baroque art, upon the death of Guido Reni, 1642, whose position in Bologna as their to Annabel Karachi had been unsaliable, he moved to that city where he was the leading painter until his death. His main work, the fresco aurora, on the ceiling of grand painter 
On the ceiling of the grand hall is printed romantic work, painted to appear as though there were no ceiling so that the viewer could see Aurora's chariot moving directly over the building. Pietro da Cortona, born Pietro Berrettini and named after his native city, Cortona was an important designer of interior decorations. He is the best known for his easel painting and frescoed ceilings such as Vault of Salon or Men's Salon of the Plaza, Barberni in Rome, and carried out extensive painting and decorative schemes for the Medici family in Florence and for the Ortorian fathers at the church of Santa Maria in Valicella in Rome. Here we look at the Salon's Palazzo Barbini, Plasso Barbini in Rome. Nothing prepares you for this. You travel from a flat ceiling to a huge ceiling, which is an illusion. Following the architecture of the room, he created the painted illusion of an open airy architectural framework against which figures are situated, usually seen as all these soto in Chu, apparently coming into the room itself or floating far above it. And the architecture that you see all around is also painted and fake. The five compartments, how the story of Barberni family, the five compartments show the story of the Barberni family. Notice the fluidity, everything flows together into an open center and blue sky. Nothing can get better than this. Len Franco 26 January 1582 to 30, 30th November 1647. Born in Parma, he was a pupil of Karachi. But it was Correggio who made the larger impact on him. Soon after his arrival in Rome, in 1612, he painted the ceiling frescoes, Joseph explaining the dreams of his fellow prisoners and Joseph and Potiphar's wife, both 1615 in Palazzo Mattei. The frescoes combine techniques and styles learned from Annabelle's Karachi and from Len Franco's own study of Correggio and Caravaggio. Here we are looking at the Saint Charles Borromeo ascending to heaven at Rome, painted at the end of life. It is the height of Baroque illusionism. What is important here is the clarity with which the subject matter is handled and allowing us to see as much as we can. We now turn our attention to Spanish painters. Francisca the Jurbran, 1598, to 1664. Known primarily for his religious paintings depicting monks, nuns, martyrs, and for his still lives, Jurbran gained the nickname Spanish Caravaggio, owing to the forceful, realistic use of chiaroscuro in which he excelled. His commissions from monasteries and churches reinforced his taste for strongly single figures of saints and equally direct narrative scenes. His focus in the painting can be equated to visual meditation. The following painting is one of the martyrdom in which the human suffering of the saint 
is also shown against a dark background. Serapion belonged to the Spanish order of Mercedarians dedicated to rescuing Christians captured by the Moors. He was martyred when he agreed as the order required, dying in the place of Christian prisoners. His white habit, so many shades of white, with its beautifully painted folds and his saging head emphasized the downward pull of his body against the ropes digging into his wrists. Much of the color has drained from his face and the brightest color in the picture is gold and orange insignia with the cross prominently displayed on it. Juan Sanchez Cotton. His still lives reflect a new interest in the relationship of art and natural science at the run of the 17th century. In the figure here, the artist's fascination with precise natural detail and striking three-dimensional space is evident. The fruit and vegetables are rendered with an exactitude that is enhanced by the flat, dark background in front of which is the perspective setting. Diego Velasquez, he is one of the greatest painters to emerge from the Caravagesque school of Seville. The deep tones and strong light shadows in painting are reminiscent of Caravaggio. Light reflects in different ways of the glazed water pot at the left and the coarser clay jug in the foreground. It is absorbed by rough wool and dense velvet of the costumes. It is refracted as it passes through the clear glass held by the man and water drops on the jug's surface. In the famous painting above, Bacchus, god of pine, is in the center and joins the pigeons, who are obviously very overjoyed to have him. Look at the expressions of the each pigeon here. Bacchus, seated on a wine barrel, is painted with a pallor skin, making him more easily recognizable Velasquez, rarely created mythology. But when he did, it was very great. In this painting, he treats the theme of triumph and conquest in an entirely new way. In 1625, Ambrosio Spinola, the Duke of Alba and the Spanish governor, had defeated the Dutch at Breda. Look at the composition defined by the lenses. He arranges his characters to create a narrative effectively. The sword of the Dutch soldier created a strong diagonal ending with Czech banner on the right. Portrait like faces, meaningful gestures and controlled color and texture convince us of the reality of the scene. In the creation of an imaginary Netherlands in greens and blues, the landscape reaches another level. One of the greatest works, this painting is about the art of painting. In the vast room in the palace of King Philip IV and Queen Mariana, Parents of the five-year-old Infanta Margarita. Infanta Margarita. The focus of the picture is attended by her maids. And Spanish court highlighted 
by the breast stroke also look at the light focusing on certain parts of the room Velasquez himself is also present brushes in his hand beside a huge canvas below the mythological pictures on the black wall depicting contests between gods and mortals inevitably won by the gods inevitably won by the gods is a mirror which has been the subject of extensive scholarly discussion the king and queen are visible in the mirror does their image mean that they are actually standing in front of their daughter or that they are the subjects of velasquez canvas thank you